SMT Nation, we back. Nation, you know what's a really tough place to have to use your smartphone, but a place that's critical in using your smartphone? The airport. And you know who's been really, really good at airports for a while now? T-Mobile. And you know who's been trailing T-Mobile at these airports? AT&T and Verizon. And the reason for that is C-Band, right? AT&T and Verizon haven't been able to deploy their C-Band in and around airports due to 5G mitigation issues with the FAA. Well, that time has come and gone. And now carriers can blast that signal wherever the hell they want, including airports, right? No more fear-mongering of airplanes falling from the sky. FAA, talking to you, losers. Anyways, carriers are now deploying across the airports and the benefits are showing as more and more customers are experiencing expedited speeds on their network. So that's improved coverage, that's improved capacity and usage experience on both AT&T and Verizon. So T-Mobile's lead, according to OpenSignal, basically gone. Let's look at the specifics from OpenSignal in this article from Fierce Wireless. The article link will be in the description and of course, ways to support the SMT and show your appreciation for the content here. You can find it in the description as well. All right, so how important is C-Band? Well, it is the lifeblood of the 5G networks for both AT&T and Verizon. It's so important that even T-Mobile got involved with the auction. All right, so it's huge for boosting capacity for networks, especially at places like airports. So wireless carriers like Verizon, AT&T, which are heavily invested in C-Band, have finally had the green light to light up C-Band across you know, all the major airports across the country. And it has made a difference, a very profound one. Here is some of the data from Open Signal. Users on AT&T and Verizon are enjoying stunning boosts in their average 5G download speeds after August compared to the period before July. So we're talking about this year, 79.6% and 62.1% respectively, surpassing the 100 megabit per second milestone Right, and this data can be found here actually, so you guys can see it there on the screen. Let me see if I can zoom in for you guys a little bit, and you guys can pinch the zoom on YouTube if you're on the mobile device. Uh, you will see that T Mobile still faster, but Verizon hot on their heels, and ATT closing that gap as well. So you could see the 5G download speed in megabits per second. You'll see those huge jumps between April and August for all three carriers, except for T-Mobile. They're not really getting faster, they're basically flat. Verizon almost doubling their speed, you know, AT&T almost doubling their speed, right? And then if you look at download speed experience, right, that's gonna be total, not just 5G, you'll see it is still very substantial for Verizon improving by 22% and AT&T improving by 30% because most of the customers have 5G phones that would alleviate congestion off the LTE channels. All right, so enjoying those speed boosts leads to an improved experience for customers. It's a win-win situation across the board. So T-Mobile's still faster amongst the big three, but the gap is closing. Previously, you know, speeds on T-Mobile were 2.4 times faster than AT&T and 2.1 times faster than Verizon, right? But that lead is shrinking. And not so much that the lead matters, Right at an airport like oh T Mobile's the fastest carrier at airports. It's not really about being the fastest. I think it's about being fast enough for your customers, right? So now Verizon has the capacity the customers require. They have a lot of customer share across the country. You know, same thing with ATT. These customers needed better speeds because it was a bottleneck. There may be times where video was buffering, apps weren't functioning well, you're trying to ride hail through Uber or something like that, or you're trying to download a movie while you're sitting there waiting or stream video it's possible your your experience was disrupted uh, one of the specific locations cited in the article is the dallas fort worth international airport second busiest uh with respect to all airports uh obviously that's at and stomping grounds but t-mobile crushes it there and when it comes to chicago at and is the best right so you could see how it can vary from place to place and i know a lot of Airports have Verizon's 5G ultra wideband, both the C band and the millimeter wave. And I know AT&T has been adding millimeter wave in those places too. I'm not sure how many airports T-Mobile has tried the millimeter wave build, uh, but it's quite possible they've got in a couple. I'm thinking maybe LAX or something like that. But um, Verizon ranks first in Denver. 
right? To show you that in some places, you know, that they those assets make a huge difference. Anyways, the customer is winning here. The T-Mobile customer is thriving in these locations, right? Verizon, AT&T have greatly improved because of the C-band ability and uh, presence. So this is great. But I will tell you guys, C-band has made a huge difference, and it's not just at airports. I got more video coverage, and I'm going to be doing live streams now that both Verizon and AT&T have access to their full C-band holdings and DoD. I don't think T-Mobile is the fastest carrier in Cleveland anymore. There was a time where that was without a doubt the scenario. T-Mobile was the fastest when it came to average download speeds in the CLE. And I think they have lost the crown when it comes to speeds. Reliability is a total of another metric. But when it comes to the speeds, I think things are changing. And this is probably not just unique to Cleveland. right? There are probably some other markets where this is happening. And uh, you know, now that the carriers have their spectrum and they've got their C-band, now the stories are going to change with respect to speed, right? Not saying that T-Mobile's not good enough. I know the T-Mobile thongs like to get their panties in a bunch. I'm just saying there are some markets and there is some shifting of the tides when it comes to 5G download speeds, right? The playing field has become level. And now it's going to be about scaling backhaul and it's about upgrading tower sites, getting the CBIN out there, small cell builds and those types of things, right? So we'll see. I wonder what T-Mobile is going to start to market, you know, once they're no longer the fastest carrier in the country. I've been thinking about that lately. Maybe that's a good topic for a video. Maybe this is foreshadowing for a future video. What is T-Mobile going to market when they're no longer the fastest carrier? You guys think that this is coming? Anyway, we'll talk about that later. What do you guys think about the AT&T, Verizon, and T-Mobile airport experience? I'm happy with this outcome. I like to see all three thriving and then supporting their customers' needs. Very nice. Sound off in the comment section below. You all the voice of the people, the SMT Nation. Let your voice be heard.